So Alexander, just wanted to get your thoughts on um, being named uh, Bishop's Athlete of the Week. And uh, obviously, I'm happy I was named uh, the Bishop Gators at, uh, for the Bishop Gators. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, uh -huh. I knew I knew about the MVP from the league, okay. but uh, I didn't know about the. Oh, I've, I'm happy. I just know right now. <laughs> I guess uh, it's always a good thing to be recognized. You know, all the hard work, all the hard work that you give in every 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 day in the off season. You know, sometimes you know you want to party, especially I'm from Montreal. <laughs> got the beach there. Got all my boys trying to party. I'm like, no, I can't. I gotta, you know, hit the gym. Gotta go running. So it's always a good thing. Always reminds me that what you're doing, you have a reason for doing it. But uh, the main thing that I loved about this week is we got that W. That's what counts, right? So. So talk to me about uh, what you guys were going through as you were, were doing that, as you were coming back against Miguel. What was going through your head? Uh, I feel like there was a passionate comeback. Like when I looked at the guys' eyes, when I looked at the guys, how they were excited, how we, like, in my, I had no doubt we are coming back for that game because of the way we were playing. When we played that way, we could beat any team. If we played that way, a whole, like, like Coach Adana said, every quarter, you know, every play, we could, we could beat any team. And that's the way we played when we came back. You know, we played hard, we played with passion, passion, and like, that's all we need, that's all, you know. And talk to me about that big catch on third and on third and one that you made to help keep that winning drive alive. It was sort of... Did my job. <laughs> that's all. You know? That's what we do, receivers. We catch the ball and we got to make plays. And, you know, that's all. Made my job. And so now, with the playoffs still alive this week against the Val, how do you approach this week? Hard. <laughs> We play, we gotta go hard, and especially like this year, the way we're looking at this at, 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 this, at this season, we should not be in this position saying, you know, we have to win this game and we had to win this team will lose that game because we got two games and we started the season, those were ours. We let them go. So for us, anything happened. If McGill wins or Kanye wins, it's, it's, it has nothing to do with us right now. The way I see the way I approach this game is that we win, we might make the playoffs. If we win and they win, we did something. You know, it's gonna for me, it's gonna buy the. the how we say this? I'm not. I'm not trying to be vulgar. <laughs> We're gonna buy the errors we did. That's the way I see it. We beat these guys. For me, you know what? We accomplished something. You know, we accomplished something that is gonna let us know we know we could beat any team in this league and we could get that cup. So next year, we just gotta work hard every every game, every play, and that's it. That's all. That's the way I approach this game. Okay. Last question. What's your favorite thing about being at Bishops? Football. <laughs> that's all.